Well, my name is Jens and I am today in Munich at the Unity U Day for Industry. This event is a place where developers, engineers and innovators gather to explore what's ahead in automotive and immersive technology. A big thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video, making it possible to share these exciting insights with you. We are very honored to see so many of you, you are more than 80 today, and this is showing us how important the automotive industry continues to be for Unity, so thank you very much. And how the automotive space is leading the charge on that in a way, whether it is uh, with our asset manager solution, whether it is simulation and design, whether it is HMI, but really how that all kind of comes together into one place. And so take advantage of the time, take advantage of the demo stations, there's some great technology there for you, and uh, make sure to say hi. So I want to start with a question for you guys. Who's playing games? Not right now, but... <laughs> Awesome. That's that's actually that's a, that's a, that's actually reflecting what we learned here today. Games is a huge thing. Everyone is playing it. All of what we see on the game side is also happening on visualization XR uh, on the industry side. Everything was revolutionized through gaming technology. And if you see today uh, VR headsets from HTC and others, all of that is also coming from entertainment and games. So there is a huge involvement and impact the gaming industry and the technology behind it has on today uh, process and technologies used in industry. From gaming to industry, Unity's technology is making a real impact. Let's take a look at how teams are transforming ideas into practical applications. We are here today at the Unity Day to present our services in the HMI and for automotive. We specialize in building prototypes and uh, production software for the cars. So here you can see the simulator that we have built to design the experiences in the vehicles before they are actually built. You cannot test uh, your ideas in PowerPoint, so that's one of the examples of the services that we do. This is the simulator where you can actually see your own hand inside and it blends nicely the virtual and physical world so everything that is you know not physical will be simulated here and then it helps the OEMs to design the experience before building the cars and then another example that we have here is the demonstrator for more industrial machines we have built the concept how you can actually elevate the safety and accuracy in the industrial environment so you can see here the overlays and also the uh, augmented reality head-up display aiding the operator of the machine. So those are the kind of two demos that we have prepared for today to show on the Unity side. Managing digital assets efficiently is essential. Let's see how Unity enables teams to structure, access and collaborate on content more effectively. Um, at BMW, we, we already have OneDrive and we use this for our personal data or sharing data throughout the company, also through SharePoint. What we try to do with the 3D Mine and the asset management is that we're firstly focusing on use cases. So we're really going into the project and looking at what do you want to do with our tool and how do you want to share the data. So we want to make it open as possible. So that means you can directly, when you jump on the, the tool, you can see directly what kind of assets are there. So you have this use cases where it says material database. So how the name says already, you will find the materials inside this project. The first thing is with the use cases and the onboarding process, we start on developing a naming concept, also a folder structure, how to uh, sort the assets in. And also what we would like to do, this, but this is more for the midterm, is that AI already tags it. Okay, this is a tree in green. It's made for woods or whatever. Um, some kind of, the AI gives you some kind of a um, content description already on top of it. Because you usually don't search through the assets by name. You more search for tags and for the metadata for the context. When I finished college, there was already somebody from um, a company, a consulting company, and said, I need games developers because we are creating those virtual worlds. Always do what you love to do. That, that's like the best advice I can give. Because if you're trying to mess around with, with technology you don't like and you don't have passion for, you will not get to an end. Sometimes it's, it's hard to get the right thing going and to have a productive, usable, software at the end or an experience go through it so you need passion actually it's all about 
data preparation with AI. So the whole AI stuff, this is, I think this can be a big game changer overall. And um, I would love to have a feature inside of the 3D asset management connected with AI that helps you to find the right asset in the right format, in the right tessellation you need. Looking beyond today's workflows, Unity is also powering ideas for the near future, from enhancing the in-car experience to enabling new forms of interactive mobility. I'm Patrice Rayac, I'm in charge of research and innovation at uh, Valeo Brand Division. So we are looking at uh, future uh, user experience in, uh, in the car and especially what can happen in uh, immersive uh, experiences uh, using uh, hardware that is already on the car uh, in terms of sensors and computing power and what kind of user experience we can create that will really help people in their car and daily life. We did a study, internal study, about what were the pain points of uh, parents uh, going on to holiday with their kids. And uh, we found out that there was probably, probably something to create to make, to make the, the journey also more enjoyable for the kids. How can we create a new immersive experience without adding cost to the car? We were convinced we could uh, reuse what is already in the car. So the idea is uh, to use the video stream of the car, data is coming from the cars about the uh, uh, environment around the cars. Using Unity uh, engine, we create augmented reality games. We are currently developing an API for Unity. So where the, the idea is that the developer can access this API and develop their own idea using the, the video streams that, uh, that are available and the, the data that we can get out of the driving assistance system. The next step will probably to be uh, to find a couple of OEM car makers who really want to deep dive in this concept and to work with them how we can uh, address the, the community. See this car. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's probably also why uh, you have this kind of uh, days where <clears throat> you can see the, the range of things that are that is happening and you can imagine what will be the next step in two, three or five years. As we move from immersive in-car experiences to advanced visual simulation, we see how Unity bridges creative vision with engineering precision. Who I represent today is uh, United Visual Researchers. So we are a startup uh, and we are based in Paris. And our goal is to bring physical accuracy to the design world and to people who are using Unity. Our goal is to add to the editor the possibility to do optical simulation. Overall, you can create an entire experience for the people from the engineering world and from the design world. So we can start with the CAD data uh, from the geometry. Then these, these CAD data are prepared using Pixies. Uh, the, the, the advantage of Pixies is that it's agnostic for geometries and it can be really uh, fast in order to uh, prepare the data and then we can incorporate pretty much any measurement data that you have based on material or lighting information and put it in the simulation so that we have a great render by the end. The reason of using Unity was the workflow including Pixies. Uh, today we are agnostic for the platform, so we started with Unity. This is today the most complete product that we have. So we are developing uh, several plugins for several platforms, and Unity is the most complete one as of today. A feature that I'm really interested in, but it's already included in Unity and it's getting better and better, is the uh, asset management. Artificial intelligence is driving innovation, from object detection to robotics. Unity helps bring these advanced systems to life in meaningful and sometimes fun ways. So what you see here is a robotic application where we have a neural network included into a digital twin scenario and at one time the neural network is able to give us the information about what card is visible and also the, does the classification of the card. So now the um, network basically detected the ace lying over here and what we can do is tell the robot to move to this pickup location pick up the ace and put it on the correct stack. This is all driven by a neural network interference during the object detection and classification at one time. So now the network returned the uh, queen as the next card to pick up, tells the robot to go to the pickup location, the robot picks up the queen and moves it on the middle stack. 
And as you can see here, the network now detected another tree, but the confidence is not really high because it's on the um, cutout on the end of the image. But still, we are able to um, tell the robot to go there and pick up the tree. What we did in Unity with this new network interference, we took a YOLO object detector and uh, rendered around about 1,000 synthetic images of this card to fine tune the uh, network detector to detect the cards. So now I'm able to click on the start button. The robot will move to the pickup location, pick up the card, and place it on the middle stack. This also works with other card types. Now I can basically tell the system, go pick up the next card. The system identified the ace as the topmost card and also classified this card as being an ace and puts it on the uh, first stack. As the event comes to a close, we are left with one clear takeaway. Unity continues to inspire and empower the creators of tomorrow. So, the day is nearing its conclusion. I'm looking at empty halls now. That is one Unity U-Day for industry and automotive done and dusted. It was an awesome event. I'm full of impressions. Thank you for staying with me. Take care and goodbye.